you know, I would say I'm disappointed, but really, between this and the pissing match between Daily Wire and Crowder, my ability to be disappointed is kind of, well, used up. Uh, Templin Institute, you are fucking morons for what you did. Um, I think the ending of your video was what really showed me that you are the pissheads in this debacle between you and Arch. Because you basically called anyone who d had disagreement with you misogynists. And so yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, may you rot in hell. Actually, no, that'd be unfair to the people of hell. But, um, they basically have been putting out this thing where they're saying there could be female space rings, and I, I actually went to a buddy of mine, Bats, who is more involved in Warhammer lore than me, because I have myself been getting into Warhammer recently. And they take, basically, people from these worlds where I think they won't be missed, or you need the best of the best, like, and everyone in Warhammer, you are basically valued by what you offer. Now, women in Warhammer, you are valued on the fact you are able to give birth. I'm assuming. Why would they take that away from that planet? Like, biologically, women are needed to give birth. Because biologically, that is what women do. They give birth. Sorry to any uh, trans activists who take issue with this. Actually, no. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, so, yeah. This whole... It is asinine because, and here's the thing, there is a group of women fighters in Warhammer. They're called the Sisters of Silence, I believe, or the Sisters of Battle. So they already exist. You have them. Why do they want to do this? I think Sargon of Akkad said it best on his podcast with, um, or his, on the live stream he did with Arch, even though I think his comments on uh, anime are asinine now. But anyway, anyway um, he basically said the reason he thinks they're going after this is because... It's a mainly male group. And feminists ideologically cannot stand that. They cannot stand the idea that men have this something exclusively. Like, men are not allowed to have anything. Feminists do not tolerate this. This is why feminists, in my mind, are evil. They do not tolerate men to have any form of control or relaxation. It's like, if you're a man and you're, not, you're happy, they hate that. But that's my running... I'm, that's the theory I'm going with, anyway. Um... It's pretty and it's just stupid that the Temple Institute did And for the, for, for the record, I was a fan of the Temple Institute before this. I was. Then they opened their fucking mouths. They came and swinging like they had a battle action and verbally. Said, said on Twitter, like, give me your counter arguments to this so I can destroy you in a video. And then in the video, in the video, is such low tier, cuck energy. You'd think a beta male made the video. Actually, no, I can see a beta, the guy doing the voiceover as a beta male. He sounds like his balls have getting drunk. So, uh, yeah, Templin Institute, you came off as the fucking shithead in this scenario. Congratulations. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say about the matter. Actually, I can also say this. I just think this is another factor of, like, Warhammer being under attack from these weirdos. Like, a lot of hobbies have fallen under assault by the woke brigade harder than Texas after the Californians moved over. And Arizona, and a bunch of other places that Californians have moved to after they ruined their own state. But anyway, anyway. Um, I think this is a matter of, they were not a part of this before, and now they are, and they do not like it. Because this is what normies do. Normies, unfortunately, when they get into something just because it's become popular, they want to ruin it. They want to ruin what makes it unique. They have to marginalize it. Make it banal boring, and other shit. This is why I invented stuff like the Normie Solution. It was a joke video, but it's also my belief on how you should treat a Normie who comes in and does this. You treat them to the hospitality of a white guy in South Africa. You tell them to fuck off. That's how I believe Normies should be treated. Especially if you are the type of Normie who comes in and demands change when you were never in danger of giving a fuck about the hobby. Never had a problem, never was interested in it, until it became popular and then take notes. This is like what happened with Evil Dead? When Evil Dead first came out, no one gave a shit about it. At least in America. Now, when it did well in Europe, America was like, well, what's that? What's that that's doing doing so well in Europe? Then America gave a shit, from what I hear anyway, or so Sam Raimi claims. So, yeah, these people do not give a shit about our hobbies. They have never been in danger of giving a shit, and we should not be affording them any common ground. We should give them no ground, no quarter should be given. 
They need to be told to fuck off. We need to stand our ground. And Warhammer fans, I'm kind of sad with you here because I actually like what I'm seeing on Warhammer. Like, I am a normie in some respects. I get into stuff when it's popular. The difference is, I try to see if it's to my liking before I decide to get into it. Like, I see if it's to my taste. I don't demand it be changed. That's what these fuckers do. And that's how I see what Temple Institute is doing. This is just another form of them trying to force the banality onto something that was not there. And they do not like it. And because they and the worst part for me is this is a lore channel and they're calling for the death of canon. Like what the fuck is wrong with people? Like if lore is important, canon is important. If you find problem with this, then make your own shit up. And if it, and maybe if it's good, we'll buy it. But people like this, they don't like canon. They just want to make shit up as they go, with no consistency, no arcs, no no nothing. It's just make shit up and then you should just be take it like good little boys. And that's more or less my take on this whole situation. It's just it's another form of attack by these normies who And I'm I am glad this happened with Timlins. I really am, because it exposed them for the grifters they are. So uh yeah, I think that's where I'll end the video. I I don't apologize for rent. Um I I do these things to get stuff off my chest. So yeah, like my chest is officially has a weight lifted off it, and I'm I am sorry it took me so long to respond to this, but I'm currently in Pine Bluff and away from Texas, so I don't usually do videos here. And I think that's rolling the video. Just uh, normies, quippy and cunts. Have a nice day.